Highness? Nothing. You were just staring off there for a bit. Are you ill from riding? <sighs> Tell me the truth. We've been riding hard. I won't lie and say that the road has been smooth. If you need to stop, we'll stop. I'd rather have that than you be sick all over me. <sighs> then we'll set up camp. Easy getting down. Is the world spinning? Good. Just sit down. Put your head between your knees. Take some deep breaths. You mistake my selfishness for compassion, Highness. Taking care of a sick prisoner is more work than dealing with a healthy one. Just keep breathing. There's an inn nearby. A night in a bed, perhaps, will help. <laughs> you may regret saying that. You didn't think I'd let you have your own room, did you? Don't worry. I'll protect your reputation. We can be married if that spares you embarrassment. I don't mind either way. I'm sure this place is used for secret lover rendezvous. <laughs> You're so easy to tease, Highness. Really, do get your mind out of the gutter. You're looking a bit better. How do you feel? Good. Lean on me. We can start walking. You don't have to. If you'd like to fall down into a heap, pretending like you can stand on your own, feel free. But again, that would be more work for me. Glad you see it my way. Topaz, follow. You didn't do much riding in the palace? Ah, I suppose it would be different travelling long distances in a carriage rather than on a dirt road. No wonder you got ill. I'm used to it. Most commoners are. Keep breathing, Highness. It will help the dizziness pass. Good. We're almost there now. Topaz, stay here. Come on, Highness. Inside. Yes, I'd like a room for the night. <laughs> that obvious, huh? We do enjoy getting away for some special time alone every now and then. You're quite kind, madame. One chamber will be enough. Thank you. Please do send dinner up to us. And some ginger tea as well. All right. Up the stairs. Here. Sit on the bed. <laughs> Quite the opposite, actually. Contrary to what you believe, Highness, I do not get my kicks from your suffering. Hard to believe, I know. Enter. Ah, thank you. Just put the tea down. Here. It's ginger tea. It should help settle your stomach. 
Yeah, well, I can't promise it'll taste good, but it works. Have a sip. <laughs> oh, your face. Not a fan, I take it. <laughs> you have a sweet tooth, I bet. Well, you're easy to read, Highness. You've always been that way. Now, finish that tea. We'll get some food in you, and then rest and catch up in the morning. Finish the tea, or else. Oh, I'm sure I can find some consequences you'd hate. Care to test me? <laughs> That's what I thought. Drink. What does it look like? I'm not going to let you have all the blankets. The floor, Highness. I'm making a bed on the floor. Are you always this slow? Well, unless you want me in the bed with you, the floor is my best option. Or do you want me in the bed? Perhaps you've finally fallen for my roguish charm? <laughs> Worth a shot. Don't forget who I am, Highness. You're my prisoner. You can never be anything else to me. Good. A little hatred will do you good. You're much too naive for your own well-being. And there's the food. Come in. Thank you. Have you finished the tea? Here, eat some of this chicken. Protein will be good. Like I said, I don't want a sick prisoner on my hands. That will make my job twice as hard. And frankly, stealing the royal heir is hard enough. Why make my life more difficult? You're getting some colour into your cheeks. Good. <laughs> Blushing, Highness. I'm making myself comfortable. You don't expect me to sleep in my coat, do you? <laughs> Your modesty is adorable. But calm yourself. You'll survive if you see a bit of skin. And if you wish to undress a bit yourself, you won't offend me. Your choice. Done with the food? Doesn't matter if you're not. You need sleep. We have an early start in the morning. <sighs> sleep, Highness. I won't tell you again. <sighs> What do you need to sleep? Surely not a bedtime story. You're joking. You want a story? No, Highness. I suppose a story is something I can do. What kind of story do you want? Let me guess. A fairy tale? <laughs> Easy, Highness. I'm done teasing. Just shut your eyes and listen. Once upon a time, in a kingdom far away, lived a knight. 
this night wasn't the bravest night, or the smartest. But he was loyal. Whenever there was a quest, he was always the first to volunteer. The king noticed this, and one day he called the knight to his chambers and asked the knight to name his reward. The knight thought for a moment, and then simply asked for the king to be as loyal to him as he was to the king. The king, of course, agreed, and time passed. Hmm, you can see where I'm going with this story, can you? Fine, I'll spare you the details and jump to the end. The king lied, and the knight dies. The end. Bitter? I have every reason to be bitter. Hush, Highness. You speak of things you know nothing about. I'm warning you. Not another word. Now sleep. We need to move in the morning. Good night, Highness. <laughs>